Hi everybody, this is Tiffany. I hope everyone's having a great day. I came on to give a prophetic message. So this message is coming from number 777 and it's stemming from scripture, Psalm 77, 1 through 7. So you guys all know I'm going to read the scripture and then I'm going to let you guys know what stood out and what came to me before getting the overall message. So I'm going to read Psalm 77, 1 through 7. I cried unto God with my voice, even unto God with my voice, and he gave ear unto me. In the day of my trouble, I sought the Lord. My soul ran the night and ceased not. My soul refused to be comforted. I remembered God and was troubled. I complained and my spirit was overwhelmed. Salah. Thou holdest my eyes waking. I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I have considered the days of old, the years of ancient times. Call to remembrance my song in the night. I commune with my own heart and my spirit made diligent search. Will the Lord cast off forever and will he be favorable no more? So what came to me uh, was prayer. So prayer came to me and then days of trouble cried to the Lord and remembered the days of old stood out from that scripture. So now I'm gonna read Psalms 50, 15. And call upon me in the day of trouble, I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. Now I'm gonna read Matthew 7, 7. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. So now I'm going to read Isaiah 41, 10 through 13. Fear not, I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Behold, all those who were incensed against you shall be ashamed and disgraced. They shall be nothing, and those who strive with you shall perish. You shall seek them and not find them. Those who contended with you, those who war against you, shall be as nothing, as a non-existent thing. For I, the Lord your God, will hold your right hand, saying to you, Fear not, I will help you. So the Lord's protection over you came to me after reading that. So now I'm going to read Deuteronomy 23:14. For the Lord your God moves about in your camp to protect you and to deliver your enemies to you. Your camp must be holy so that he will not see among you anything indecent and turn away from you. Turn away from you stood out from that scripture. Now I'm going to read Isaiah 59 too. But your iniquities have made a separation between you and your God, and your sins have hidden his face from you so that he does not hear. Hindered prayers came to me. So now I'm going to look up what the Bible says about hindered prayers. And the Bible says your prayers can be hindered by several things. So what are these prayer blockers? The first prayer blocker is unforgiveness. When you harbor resentment, offense, bitterness, or anger towards another person, it blocks your prayers. And then I added, but don't forget any other sin. I just wanted to look up what um, the overall things that people may not be looking at regarding these hindered prayers. So these are things that um, we all need to look into. Unforgiveness harboring resentment, offense, bitterness, anger towards another person. Those That is considered sin. To make sure you're not participating in these things. Even if it might not look like a sin, this is a sin. So now I'm going to read uh, Psalm 66, 18. If I had cherished iniquity in my heart, the Lord would not hear me. What I wrote here was, let go of people, places, and things that are hindering you. Make an effort to heal from past hurts. Okay, so now I'm going to read number seven. Perfection, completion, purification, consecration, sovereignty, the covenant between man and God. So what stood out to me was consecration and the covenant between man and God. I'm going to read the meaning of consecrate. To devote to a purpose with or as if with deep sovereignty or dedication. All right. Meaning walking with the Lord, meaning your walk with the Lord. So what I have is number 70 and number 75, and I was led to read number 70. So number 70, God's administration, insight, restoration, impartation of God's spirit, increase. Negatively, it can mean exile, punishment, or captivity by the enemy. So what stood out to me is captivity from the enemy. Now I'm going to read 1 Peter 5 through 8. Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Now I'm going to read the overall message. More now than ever, seeking and maintaining a relationship with the Lord will be vital. Strengthen your bond with God by rededicating your life to Christ. The sinner's prayer would be a great start. Hindered prayers is a strategic trap set by the enemy to keep you from your breakthroughs and to take you off course. Harboring past hurts in your heart will continue to stagnate you, so let it go. The Lord will never leave you nor forsake you, but you want all your prayers heard and all your prayers answered. 
you will be able to see change after taking the first steps to move forward in the direction God has created you to take. Repent for holding on to things the Lord has been telling you to release. What you do and don't do in your prayer time will affect your outcomes tremendously. So that's the end of the message, guys. I hope this message helps somebody. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys soon. God willing, God bless. Bye.